Hello and welcome from the Heimer Center in Bad Waldsee in southern Germany. This is the Heimer Grand Canyon S camper van. We'll have a look at the, the camper van range. And this one here, the, um, I think it's the top of the range, although I don't really know. 72,500 euros is going to cost. As you can see, it's on a Mercedes Sprint, so it's 593 centimeters in length. And uh, it'll give a payload of something around 700 kilos, approximately, approximately. Uh, so uh, that should be probably enough for what you're carrying if there's two of you, because there's only two beds in it. So what's it got? Well, uh, looking around here, first thing I have to say, I think it's got a small table. Um, now. Uh, do you want a small table or a big table? I was talking to two people yesterday that bought an MLT and invited me around to their van, and they were complaining that the, van, that the MLT, Heimer MLT, has got a too big a table. Well, okay, so it's like that. That might, if you want a small one, you can have it like that, or you can sort of make it bigger, which is precisely what I do. I'd like to point out as well that's a really nice light table. It's much lighter than mine. Very good. Here up front, plenty of room between the seats to move yourself around. The handbrake, there are those who say despite the, the, uh, the way that uh, you've got, you do is double click and it supposedly locks it in position. There are those who complain about it. Uh, another thing is uh, this start engine stop there. There are um, mechanics who don't like this system at all. Um, unable to give you too much uh, information, uh, but um, their belief is that keys work better. How does it work in this vehicle? Well, the vehicle was introduced in um, the or, or spring of uh, 2018, so we're unable yet to. I, I don't think enough time has passed to get a good uh, opinion of that. All right, you've got your electrics there, you can see what's happening. Yeah, if, you, if you want, you can have an uh, option, you can have a tent in the roof. That'll add even more money onto it. Okay, it's, um, it's a sprinter, not much, uh, uh, it's not very wide, so you can't expect a kitchen much wider than that. But under it, you do get, uh, oops, sorry, you get uh, this thing here, which is, I suppose you could use for a little bit of storage, and you get nice wide drawers here as well 15 kilos max will go in there oh i'll put something in here um, you, uh, these and it's an anti-slip thing but there's a company called door d-u-r-r -R, which manufactures things to, um, it's like a velcro which stops the uh your, your plates and things moving around i'll have to do another video on it i did one a few years ago i'll have to do an update Okay, here we've got a sink. These things get broken. These things get broken very easily. What you do, you press the push thing here, which I've noticed tends to get jammed. Maybe because um, trade fairs and people don't really realise, but uh, sometimes you can see if it's in or out where it should be. Now, this thing here has already been broken. That I know. And uh, so... I will try and demonstrate how it goes in, trying not to break it any longer, any further. Well, it's supposed to go up there like that, and I can't, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to force the issue, particularly as I've only got one hand to do it with. So and I've had the two, I've got push and uh, push and push. Anyway, there you go. There's the toilet down there. You'd probably want to put the sink in before using the toilet. Uh, there's a shower there, but the, uh, the hose isn't here. And there's a place to hang your socks on. Oh, this doesn't stay up either. We should go the other way, of course. Ah, oh, it does. There it does. Sorry. There you go. That's a place to keep your, your smelly things. Nice duck board down there. And to demonstrate, there's me. I'll close the door. I don't like doors like this in um, showers. But, you know, for... It's not a huge amount of space, admittedly, but but uh, 
it'll do, I suppose, for a van of this size. I mean, the van, the van is less than 12 square meters. Oh, and there's a bit of good advice. Take the duckboard out before having a shower. Just as well to put that one in. And you can check yourself as you come out. I think you get a choice of uh, three-way or two-way fridges. This one's got, a, from Thetford's got a night mode, which is apparently very quiet. At least that's what Thetford said at the press conference I went to when it was launched. Yeah, I wonder what's down there. I have to say it's a relatively flat floor, not entirely, but it, obviously it's got a join somewhere, so I wouldn't complain at that. Let's uh, come round to the back. Oh, well, the uh, furniture se seems to have turned up, and in here, got the gas, and we've got some storage down here as well, which they tend to put in um, other vans. There's the there's your fuses, and the, those two there are empty. I like to have the fuses in a place I can actually get to them. All right, so that's that's the Grand Canyon S. Well, now come down here so I've got a couple these are Fiat Ducato based free vans two of those there's rock there and the Yosemite all right so we see them there's the free vans and here's the, uh, the Grand Canyon S. Right, well, you'll have to see those other vans in different films. And uh, so, thanks very much for watching.